Man, what is up, everybody? What to do on this windy day? So I'm hoping you guys can hear me. So y'all check out my new project truck, man. 1969 Chevrolet C10 Custom. I did have another project many, many years ago. It was a 71 Oldsmobile two-door. Man, I love that baby to death. Love her to death, man. Let me show y'all what came out my truck, y'all, just a minute ago. This is what came out the floor on my damn me truck just a minute ago. Scared the hell out of me, man. All right. So, but as y'all can see, she don't have a lot of rust. She has a little bit, but you know, that's nothing that G-Mac can't take care of. You know, like I say, a little bit of TLC will get that baby right back to where she going. So, you know, I got a little work to finding some parts for this baby. But which that ain't nothing that G-Mac can't find there. So, as y'all can see, I got a little bit of... A little rust rotting going on right there. But which I got a plan on fixing that right there. Uh, I got another little old, small little problem right here. I got holes in the floor right there. But which my plan is to go ahead and get the original parts for it. The flooring part for it. Go ahead and put it up off in there. And then go ahead and put me a, um, a stainless steel plate at the bottom. And then I may just go ahead and just diamond plate the whole entire floor on the inside of here. So as y'all can see, this is... A non AC cab, but which is not a big problem, not a big problem at all. But as y'all can see, it has been cut and converted from a standard to an automatic. There is the BM shifter right there. So I got the old standard pedal right there. I got the brake pedal, got the gas pedal right there. So I gotta find a little, the little uh pedal part for it, but which is no problem at all, you know. Uh, I got little things I gotta do, gotta go ahead and give me some more wood grain and stuff like that. So I got the original. Grant stand wheel at home with the original real wood grain on it. So that'll be for that right there. Uh, I got a, you know, little small little stuff I gotta do, you know, fix up on some wire and stuff like that. Check out this, uh, check out this heat unit. Another radio, even though it is a cassette, man, it's a classic. You know, um, I gotta go and give me another wood grain. Put me some more installation up off in there and stuff like that. Um, you know, check it out, uh, check out somewhere, see if I can't find me another piece of a dash. I like the metal part, so that's a good thing there. You know, replace this little old beaded piece right there, so that's okay there. Um, this door right here, it will not open from the inside or the outside, so I may have to take that baby apart in order to get that baby open, which it ain't no thing. It ain't no thing at all. So, these seats right here are not the original seats. So, my plan is to go ahead and give me some bucket seats and go and slam them bucket seats up off in that baby. Woo, this is going to be looking nice and clean. So, this gas tank here, my plan is to take it out and go ahead and put me a fuel cell right there. And then have my fuel cell covered up to be protected from all kind of crazy weather. But, so far y'all, there is not a lot of damage on here. It's really not, man. I mean, it's really in really good shape. I think I did a really good job on getting this truck, man. I think I did. So let's go ahead and check up 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 under here. So like I say, the frame doesn't have a lot of rust. You know, a little bit of sandblasting will bring that baby right back to where she was at. So you know, there ain't no thing right there. I got a little rust right here on the truck bed. So you know, which I'm gonna end up fixing myself once I get everything replaced and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not for sure if I'm gonna keep these or not. I'm gonna try to see if I can find the original rims that go to this truck. So that is my plan too also. Ooh, but like I said, y'all, she is in really good shape. I mean, she really is. You know, I got to find some bezels back here in the back for that right there. Uh, the truck bed I did clean out yesterday. So right now, I went, you know, went through walking on the truck bed. So the truck bed is pretty still. It's still pretty hard. So that is a very good thing right there. Very good thing. Go ahead and get my tailgate fixed. Uh, my plan is to go ahead and take this bumper off. And may do I may do a whole entire ground effect to make it look like one piece at the bottom, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. Not just yet. So I got a little bit of damage right here on the back of the on the back of the truck here, which it ain't no problem. Which I could take the bed off and go ahead and just take this skin off and put another one on there, you know. Which it ain't no thing for me to do. Uh, I got a little problem right there, but my plan is to go ahead and cut out a little small section, weld another uh, weld another piece on there. Problem solved. Just like that. Oh. Well, like I say, y'all, she is in really good shape. I mean, she really is. On this side of the frame, still looks good up under there. Still looks good. 
doesn't have that it doesn't have the uh deterioration rush so that is a very good thing that is a big plus with me a very big plus for the deterioration rust because we already know what that deter what that deterioration rust does to these cars and trucks oh so yeah i got a little damage down there gotta go ahead and fix that gotta go ahead and give me some more stripes and stuff like that then like i say try to get this door open here on this side here go ahead and try to find me some better mirrors and stuff like that if I can't find the original ones, I'm gonna try to get me some custom made ones for this truck here. Now, I got a little rust right there on top of which that ain't nothing, man. G Mac will take care of that. So, you know, what I like about the fenders is that the fenders are not heavily rusted. That is the best thing. They're not heavily rusted at all. Now, I got a little bit there, but that ain't nothing right there. But, you know, I got a little bit of, got a little bit of cracking going on right there. But, you know, like I said, G Mac, he's gonna take care of all that. It's gonna take care of all of it so uh, so this part the front part of the frame underneath still looks good still looks good now I might have to replace this hip right here cuz look like it's really started to deteriorate but you know I don't know I may I may replace them with a stainless steel I'm not a hundred percent sure just yet so I got another problem on the frame right here I got to fix I got to get that little piece right there fixed I guess whoever had this truck before me Cut a notch up in it so they can go ahead and try to fit the headers on the motor, but I got a plan on fixing that, which it ain't no problem. But like I say, the front of the frame, even the front of the frame look good too also. Really does. Man, so the plan is, is to see if I can get this baby running. Uh, yesterday, she did have some water in the carburetor and in the motor yesterday. So my plan is to go ahead and let all that drain out, give it a couple of days, and then go ahead and put some fresh oil up off in her. Give her some fresh gas. Give me some spark plugs and stuff because the spark plugs are going out. Oh, I mean, uh, spark plug wires, they are missing. So, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get those there. So, this is a small block standard uh, V8 350 with a uh, Holly carburetor, Edelbrock intake. So, but like I say, but like I say, the plan is if I get this baby right here running. I may just rebuild this one, leave this one in the truck instead of doing an LS. But I may do an LS and then just keep this one right here after I finish rebuilding it. So I got some things I got to do some more sandblasting on, stuff like that. Like I say, this frame right here looks pretty good on this side too. So, you know, I mean, like I say, I don't have a lot of heavy damage on the frame, which that is a big plus, guys. A big plus. Man, I love the front of this truck. I love it, man. She is beautiful. Boy, she is beautiful. The grill. This got to be polished up. That's all it is. Same way with the bumper. It's got to be polished up. Uh, I plan on see if I can find me some LED lights. The original ones that stay with this truck. But I want to get the LEDs. So, you know, I'll be working on that too also there. But, man, like I say, y'all, it's not a lot of damage on this truck at all. It's just not, man. And I, I'm, I'm just loving the way it is. But there go my hood right there. I had to put it back. I put it back on yesterday after me and Mario cleaned out the back of the truck. So guys, man. So y'all tell me, did I do did I do a good deal? Or did I mess up? But me personally, I think I did an awesome job of snatching this baby up. Y'all know what time it is, man. This is the G-Mac truck. Peace.